I was going to the States to play basketball and to play in Portarol, not just to be there. It's always about winning. One of the biggest uh, basket buzzer beaters that I made in my basketball career. Create your own website with ease using Hostinger AI Website Builder. Simply describe what you need in the prompt box and let AI generate a unique website for you. Hostinger. Three, two, online. Okay, so this is Basket News Film Session, and we are here in Athens with the head coach of Peristere Athens and Greek national team head coach Vasilis Panoulis. Vasilis, let's watch some clips. Oh, I forgot this play. <laughs> it's impossible to forget this play. Yeah. <laughs> what what comes to your mind when you when you watch this clip? The uh, first thing that this one of the biggest uh, basket buzzer beaters that I made in my basketball career. I miss, I miss a lot of, uh, I miss a lot of like, shots like this. But you know, when you believe and you have the courage and the work ethic to practice every day, all these shots, you know, sometimes it will come times like this that with one shot you can uh, win a championship. Exactly. This is 2016 uh, Greek Finals Olympia Kospan. Of course, you're up by two one. And this game, this shot decides the outcome of the series. And actually, this is the last game of Dimitris Demontidis. And I talked with Greek uh, colleagues and they said that this shot, uh, you kind of ruined the image of Dimitris Demontidis in Greece because, you know, he's the he's known as the best defensive player. Uh, did he complain to you about that? No, 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 no. no, no. Okay. First of all, it's, uh, overall, it's a, it's a great defense, you know, the, his hand is on my... Uh, uh, he contests the shot at the highest level, Dimitris. He's a great defender, all-time great defenders, and uh, you know he has huge length on his uh, arms, and you know he tried to contest high. But uh, you know, the important thing for me is that usually I make this step back from the right exactly. hand. So at this time, I thought that you know they expect the the right step back. So I said to myself, I will go left now because they don't expect me. So that's why I go to to my left. Was it? It, it was pr probably very rare to see you taking a final shot and going, you know, on your, to your left, yes, not to your yes, right. That's why I was thinking at that time that before I take the shot, that uh, I have to make something different to 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 create the separation. Because for me, a good offensive player, uh, the biggest talent is to create separation. So I try to create the separation with the opposite side that I used last years. So that's why, as we see right now, where you're freezing the the picture, I have. A pretty much good separation to to make my shot, and also James Gist, he did a come for trap, that maybe somebody somebody else would take the shot, so I take the opportunity and I make the shot. What makes the perfect side step for you? Uh, the perfect side step is uh, to make it quick, to take the the first half of a second of separation, so I can see the basket clearly. Beautiful memories. <laughs> Probably goosebumps are coming over the bodies <laughs> of everyone is watching. And this was a very interesting moment because you didn't take the final shot yeah. and you made this pass. Before, yeah. Before the last free throw of uh, Siskauskas, I, I told to, uh, I think Papa Nicolau, to give me quick the ball to go to, to, to the offense quickly because we have uh, almost seven seconds to, to make the offense. So my first option is always to to make the shot or to attack the rim, and uh, after to to read and react because this was my motto: read and react, never to pre-decide what I will do. So at this action, I, I make uh, the reject that I use a lot in my career, and uh, I was trying to go to the rim because we wanted uh, one basket, not a three. We're not three down. Mm. We're not two down. We, uh, we want a, just a basket, so I go to the basket hard to finish, but instantly I see Kirilenko to be there and I see Yorgos in his favorite... Uh, Sweet uh, spot. Yes, and his favorite shot, so instantly I, I trust him, I trust all my teammates, not only Yorgos, but I find the right player and the right timing and the right place, so I make the right decision. Uh, I heard some stories. Is that true that you went to your left on purpose and you try to attack Kirilenko because he's really good at the weak side help because of his length. And let's say if you made a pass, uh, you know, earlier or whatever, he would have managed to contest his shot better. Now he had to stop you. You kind of attacked him hard, so he couldn't help. 
and Yorgos got this shot. No, no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't have the time to read this. I, just, I don't. I don't want to lie mm. uh, that I make this to to pretend the smart one. But uh, I try to take the pick and roll uh, in the beginning of the play. As you see, stop, bravo. As you see with Christis, I try to take the the, mm. the switch to create again my my shot or my penetration. But uh, instantly I find this. Uh, I make this move because to uh, to, to take out of balance uh, Sved. So I attack the rim and instantly I see Kirilenko there. That is always there. Is it was maybe if not the best one of the best uh, weak side defenders, yeah. and uh, I find Yorgos there. Hopefully again like before. Uh, Theodos is not is not jumping in to let's say to to take offensive foul or to mm. to make me pass error. But again I will pass to Vagelis to make to Madzeris to make the open shot. You know as I told you. In all these uh, situations, I always try to be in attacking mode. I had the confidence and I had the courage to take these uh, decisions. Because for me, the most important is to take the right decision. Not only you to take the last shot, because this is too much ego, too much heroic. For me, it's to take the best decision for my team to win. Okay, actually, that was the question I was about to ask, you know, how it feels for the scorer to, to, to make a pass with two seconds uh, left in, in a game of such an importance. So it's about winning, not about it's taking about last winning. shots. It's always about winning. This is amazing play from, from your playbook. We can watch uh, the whole sequence and I will just ask you, you know, to break down the most important things. If it was like, you know, fulfilled uh, till the perfection. It's the first action that five is going for a fake pick and roll. And uh, let's say now mm -hmm. hammer fake pick and roll. And at the same timing, at the same time, wing player is going opposite to clear the side. Mm -hmm. At the same time, uh, it's like Spain pick and roll, but we don't attack the Spain pick and roll. And it's a fake, uh, fake screen. And again, take uh, this curl move for shot. If not mm -hmm. open, we have again second the chasing five position is chasing the shooter for second down screen and immediately roll to the basket because a lot of teams they're switching in these situations. So to have this uh, exactly what happened. That was amazing play. Is the timing and is is the timing and is the screening that uh, make the difference? Is important, very important the timing. You know, for me, timing in basketball and screening is so important. A lot of times you have to teach the players uh, special situations and to. To have the, the the mind to to see what and to to see what the opposite coach should make in every situation. So let's say for me, a lot of times after timeout the coaches are switching, or they mm -hmm. or they bleeding, or they make something different. To especially when the coaches make uh, different plays after timeouts, like I make a lot of different plays after timeouts, and uh, you know that's why we. Uh, I draw this play. A lot of times I draw different plays, you know, that coming in my mind at this at the time of the timeout. I never uh, pre-decide what I will play. I never have paper in my in my pocket, or uh, I never have these things. You know, I have so many things in my mind, so they are coming immediately on, on my mind. Uh, do you improvise those auto plays after timeout plays, or you kind of prepare most of them in, in practices? Uh, sometimes I play in practice, I stop the practice and I play different plays like this in the practice. So I call the one team and I play timeout plays. But uh, a lot of times, you know, I, I draw the play at the time of the timeout and uh, I try to explain to the players that the timing and the angle of the screening, uh, because it's very important. It's not only to draw a play. You have to teach the player exactly the move and the spacing and the timing that they have to do the move. Uh, I don't know if you were aware of it, but uh, accidentally Steph Curry saw this play and he shared his uh, thoughts uh, about the situation. And his comment was, number 18 is the problem, stay high over the flare, hardest pass to make is the one over the top uh, to the corner. Everybody, everybody else can stay home. Nice action though, only works one time before they figure it out. You could run it once, but that's getting shut down the rest of the game or the season. Did you see this comment? You know what? What, what could you respond? You know to, to this take. Uh, I watched this Steph? comment. First of all, uh, uh, you know, it's it's, it's huge uh, compliment for me to Steph Curry to watch this play of my team. That is not a team that is Barcelona or Olympiacos or Panathinaikos or Real. It's Peristeri that is not so well known in a, in a, in the other side of the of the world in a, in state. So. A big accomplishment for our organization, for me, and you know that they see this play, they watch this play. Always, always, you know, some place is working for one time. 
you have other players that you have ball movement and you have motion that you can work different actions in different differences. You know, for me, this place is time out ATO plays for one time. And sometimes you can run the same play with some different things just to surprise the opposite opponent team. Did it work uh, any other time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 2006 World Cup semi final Greece, Team USA. And they say that this was the game that Vasilis Panoulis put his name on the map worldwide because you were coming off a great EuroLeague season. But this game, you know, was had another level for you. I had huge motivation uh, because, uh, as you said, uh, I was already signed in uh, Houston Rockets. So I had a uh, huge uh, motivation to put my mark and to, to, to make everybody understand that uh, I was going to the States to play basketball and to play in Porta Roll, not just to be there. And, uh, you know, as a team, as a national team, we have great performance. Maybe it's the biggest win in history of uh, uh, Greek basketball. And, uh, you know, all the players, we were committed and uh, we play with pride. And we had amazing national team, you know, these four or five years, we, we were amazing. We sacrificed a lot. We put our egos down. We enjoying to go in the summers, to lose our summers, our vacations, to, to be together and to, to play for our nation, for, to play for our country, to play for our uh, legacy, to play for uh, the next ones that they are coming. And, uh, you know, this is what we have to do again. How did you approach those big games? You know, as you mentioned, it was a big game for you. How did you prepare mentally? You know, there are these legends about Kobe's Mamba mentality. What was Vasilis Panoulis mentality approaching oh, this game? Always think about next play. Never had the disappointment if something don't work. Never be enthusiasm if something goes good. Uh, play every play 110%. Give my heart. Be exhausted after the game because I give everything. And after, uh, let the game uh, go and to see what happens. What was the origin of Spanulis play? When was the play first time, who was the first head coach who introduced this play to you? Dusan Ivkovic. We play, we make this play with uh, coach Duda. And uh, it was an amazing play and uh, I was running this play a lot of times because I was feeling so comfortable with this play. The most important in this play is to, to make the defender uh, sleepy. Is you don't show that you will take a middle to mm. take the screen from four. So also I teach my players that you never show where you will go. You have to, to make sleepy your uh, opponent that after to change your speed and to go to full speed. First action is always to turn and to shut the ball because a lot of players they take the ball to play the pick and roll. You never to take the head off to play the pick and roll. First action when you take the pick and roll is to make the shot. After, if you are not uh, feel comfortable or, or the defense is good, after you go to pick a roll or to reject or to the second action. First action, every offensive player that has the ball is to look to the basket. Uh, I always say the four positions like now, Yorgos or uh, Per or everybody, every four positions that I play to set me good screen in the first action. Because the first separation that I will take, they will give him the chance to have better opportunity to, to shut the ball. And second is the head off has to be close to the three-point line. If he's in eight meters or in nine meters, mm. five position, he has to be sure that he will take the ball close to the three-point line. So I will be ready to, for, from a good distance to have the opportunity to shut the ball. Because if he's in eight or nine meters, then we go in middle to pick a roll and it's not the same action. When was actually the first time you heard that this, this move, this play was called Spanulis uh, play? You know, I hear a lot of NBA teams like uh, Utah or like uh, Denver, mm -hmm. or like a lot of NBA teams, they, they make this action. Uh, I hear a lot of players from NBA, they try to, to watch this action and to play this action. And, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is amazing. To, 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 it's more than titles, all these things. The love of the people, of the, of, of the, of the child, of the people to remember you and the love uh, to, and to, to have a signature play to, that they call all over the world. This is more than a title for me, you know, this is the legacy that you live and I'm so proud because uh, only me, uh, I know how much I work to, to, to have perfection uh, on this and in other place. So Vasilis, thanks for sharing the knowledge behind this greatness. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was great. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.